OK, here on the right you can see I've got a grid, um, a magnetic grid. And when I put my mouse over it, in the bottom right you can see it says it's WGS84 and I've got latitude and longitude. And now I want to convert this to a grid that is in meters. And so what I do is I go grid and image, utilities, reproject grid file. I've got to find this grid file. So sometimes you just got to look for it. OK, click next. You've got to choose what coordinates it's, it's in currently, so it's in geographic, WGS84, click OK. And then I've got to say, what is the new projected grid that I want to create? And you can see I've actually done this already, but um, let's say you're going to give the new grid name, so TMI W Bushveld. And then I like to write what I'm going to do to the grid, so it's easy to identify later. So I'm going to change it to LO27 and make sure you've got a uh, dot GRD and how you can get that if you don't you click on this three dots and you make sure that the type of grid that you want to export is selected and we're going to do a GSoft default so click on a save and then you click next and now we want to change what coordinate system we want to change it into so we want to click on projected and this is the date of it had a BS hook, which is the same as WGS84. And then I want to go to here, South African Survey Zone 27. So this is a South African coordinate system, and the zone is 27. I click on OK. I click on Finish. And you can see when I put them next to each other, if I go Window Vertical, and I'm just going to click on this one and then click on this small brown square to get them to be the same size. That when I put my mouse over this left hand one, in the bottom right hand corner here it says how to be a sook, South African grid zone 27, and this is in meters here. So that's how you convert a grid from lat long to meters.